when I first started my training company, this was 20 years ago, I was doing a seminar in Mexico and a gentleman in the back of the room halfway through after about three hours says to me, you know, I really like everything you're teaching and training. I love this idea of isolating objections and asking, you know, third level questions. He says, but if we use these techniques, isn't the customer going to feel manipulated? So I said, let me table that and I'll get back with you tomorrow. Well, that night I got to go out with the top sellers at that particular area and the very top salesman introduced himself to me as Apapacho. I said, Apapacho, that's a very different name. What, what does it mean? He says, oh, it means hugger or affectionate one in Spanish. And Apapacho was this big teddy bear of a man with a soft face and you just wanted to hug him. And he went on to say, you know, I got to tell you something. I've never had any sales training in my life. He says, but I've always been number one in our company. He says, I guess I'm just Apapacho. I love my customers. I see them year after year. I send them Christmas cards. Some of them, I've known some of their children since they were eight. And then when they're 18, I'm invited to their wedding. He says, I'm just Apapacho. Well, at that moment, I knew that I had the answer for the man in the back of the room. And I told him this. I said, you know, you're right. You asked me a question yesterday. If all you do is use techniques and skills and you have no apapacho, you're going to fail in the sales profession because it will be manipulation. On the other hand, if all you have is apapacho or compassion and care for your customers and your employees, you'll do very, very well in this business. Now, when you combine apapacho with skills and techniques, that's sure success. You can only sell more if you are more. When you are more, you sell more. What you do matters, but who you are matters more. And in times like these, who we are matters more than anything.